Hello, Serena Group. I uh, wanted to walk you through the process of setting up two-step authentication on your uh, Google system. The first step is to go up to your uh, logo and or uh, your photo and or your initial in the upper right-hand corner. Click on that button and then click on My Account. From there, um, you go to uh, Signing In uh, to Google. You click that button. And when you click that button, it'll actually pop you up to the Sign In Security page. And then you'll scroll down and then you'll see this two-step verification section under password and sign-in method. Uh, by clicking that two-step authentication button, uh, or verification button, it'll take you to this next step where you can hit the get started button. And then it's going to require your password. And so it does require you to remember uh, your password. Um, and in this case, uh, I typed it incorrectly. And then once you get through your password, it's going to ask you to plug in your cell phone number and ask you whether or not you want to get codes via text message or phone call. Uh, my recommendation is to have them come through via text message. So go ahead and hit the Try It button. And what this is going to do is send a text message to your cell phone. So what's happening here is your cell phone is going to become your verification device. So if you lose your cell phone uh, for some reason, we can disable your account. Um, uh, but your cell phone is going to be required to be with you to access your uh, Google account. Since most of us keep our cell phones with us, um, it's not uh, that difficult to do. In this case, we'll go ahead and take the next step and hit turn on. And then once that's complete, uh, your two-step verification is uh, set up. This will require you to log in again to uh, most of your um, devices. Um, for your mobile phones, if you're using Apple Mail, uh, it is also going to require you to set up what's called uh, an app-specific password. Uh, so we'll go ahead and go through that next. But while we're here, um, if you want to have your second step authentication, just go to text message. You just, you're just you done, and you can hit the back arrow up here. If you're interested in uh, setting up a Google prompt, uh, so if you use the Google app on your phone uh, for searching um, and Google Now, then this will actually just kind of ask you to, if you want to sign in versus having you plug in a code. Or if you plan to be offline on a regular basis, you may want to download the Authenticator app, which will allow you offline access to your uh, Gmail system. And you can also add a backup phone in case you lose your phone. Uh, but because uh, we have access to reset your password, uh, we can kind of make those adjustments for you as needed. So once I'm done, go ahead and hit the back arrow here, and it takes me back to the sign-in security page. From here, um, if I want to set up my Apple Mail on my uh, uh, phone, I will go ahead and click App Specific Passwords or App Passwords here. And once I click this, it's going to ask me a question, a couple questions. So A, um, I want to set up Mail, and then I'm going to go ahead and pick my iPhone, and I'm going to hit Generate. And what this is going to do is going to generate a password that you will use to plug into your iPhone for your mail. Now, this is a one-time password. You don't need to write it down. Remember it, you plug it in once, and even if you change your password on your Google account, this will still continue to operate, so you don't have to worry about that. Once you're done and everything's working on your iPhone, uh, you can go ahead and hit Done. Uh, and that's gonna show up as uh, the password um, here, and it's not gonna show you the password ever again. Now, if for some reason you lose your phone, you can come in here and you can revoke that password. You just simply hit the Revoke button and you can just generate another one if you need it in the future. So let's go ahead and save your iPhone and hit generate. And so you'll see that it'll give you a new password to generate for your iPhone. This is tons more secure than using the same password on every device. Um, and what this will allow you to do is set up passwords for each of your devices that use a third-party mail app. So if you wanna have mail on your iPad, um, you can generate an app, uh, app specific password for your iPad. And that way, if you lose any of your devices, you can simply um, uh, remove this uh, or revoke access to, to the device. And that will uh, not allow any uh, people that have your device to be able to access your contacts, email, or calendar, or any of that other information. If you have any questions about this, um, go ahead and email um, uh, google at serenagroup.com and we'll be here to help. Have a great day.